Good morning, friends, and welcome to another episode of We Are The Church, a ministry of daily encouragement from the First United Methodist Church in Orange, California. I'm Pastor Bill Johnson. I want to thank you for stopping by for just a few moments. Uh, you may have a busy Saturday out ahead of you, so why don't we get started? Friends, a reading from Isaiah 55, uh, verses 6 through 8. It says, Seek the Lord while he may be found, and call upon him while he is near, and let the wicked forsake his way, and let the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord that he may have compassion on him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not as your thoughts, and neither are my ways as your ways, declares the Lord. I uh, find that Judy and I have a lot of things to do these days uh, in and around the house. We're getting a little work done on the house and that means uh, cleaning up some things and cleaning out the garage and packing up some stuff and taking inventory of all of our things. And it strikes me as we're going through this process that we live in a country where people throw a lot of stuff away. We accumulate way too much and then we go through the process of getting rid of it and often one of the ways that we decide whether we should keep a thing or not is to decide if it's still in good working order. I think we live in a culture where if something breaks down or gets a little mar on the finish or whatever else, rather than repair it, we typically throw it away. We have a disposable culture. And uh, unfortunately, I think we do the same thing with relationships sometimes, but God is, uh, we serve a God who never disposes of these relationships. The uh, word from Isaiah is such a powerful and hopeful word. Seek the Lord while he may be found and call upon him while he is near and let the wicked return uh, to the Lord so that God may have compassion on him because God will abundantly pardon we might find ourselves from time to time thinking, well, I've really messed it up this time. I made a huge life-changing error of some sort and I have, I have really screwed it up. And so the Lord will never have anything else to do with me. And if you have found yourself thinking in those terms or even having those thoughts lurking in the back of your mind, I just want to reassure you today that as long as we have the ability to turn our feet around and call out to the Lord, the Lord will receive us back. We have never done anything that is so grievous, so uh, egregious before God that it can nullify the gift of his son, Jesus, on the cross. So maybe you've not been walking so closely with God uh, these days, and uh, maybe you're one who feels as though uh, God will have nothing more to do with you, so why should you try? I just want to reassure you today that God is... Uh, always eager to have uh, have us turn back to him, look to him, call out to him, and uh, even though these errors that we commit, uh, they are injurious to our own personal pride, they are uh, simply another opportunity for us to turn in humility before the Lord and receive his gracious pardon. So on this Saturday, uh, just want to encourage you to hear these powerful and hopeful words from Isaiah one more time. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he, was, while he is near. God's thoughts are higher than our thoughts, and God's ways are more higher and deeper than our ways. So that's our word of hope today. Let's be in prayer. Loving God, what a privilege it is to simply turn to the inward place in our spirit and soul to call out to you and to find that you are reaching back and that you are willing to accept, that you are willing to cleanse. And so long as we are honest, O oh Lord, with you, you receive us. And so long as we call upon your name, we receive the promise that as far as the east is from the west, so far do you remove our sin from us. 
We thank you for this, and we thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus, in whose name we pray. Amen. Well, have a great Saturday, friends. If you have a lot of work to do, that's to get at it while you can. And uh, remember the old adage that well begun is half done. So get a good start on the day. Wherever you find yourself today, remember to wash your hands, remember to read a song, remember to tell somebody that you love them. And I'll see you soon.